Sunscreen? Squeaks, I don't think we're gonna need sunscreen. Oh, hey everyone. Squeaks and I just got an invitation to go visit Sam the Bat and his whole family in the cave where they live. We're just thinking about what we might need to bring. <laughs> That's what I mean, Squeaks. Sam lives in a cave, so sunscreen isn't going to be very useful. Well, Squeaks, maybe we'll need a snorkel and flippers, or maybe we won't. Caves seem like they might be all the same, but actually there are lots of different kinds of caves. Some caves can be wet and others can be dry. Caves are a kind of a habitat. A habitat is a place where living things make their home, like forests or coral reefs or almost any place on Earth. Caves exist all over the world and lots of different animals live inside them. That's right. Some animals like bats sleep in caves during the day and come out at night. But other animals live so deep inside, they never come out to the surface at all. Let's look at some examples of animals that live their whole lives inside of caves. This is an alm, a type of salamander from Europe. A salamander is a creature that looks like a lizard, but is actually more like a frog. This is a Mexican tetra. It's a type of freshwater fish. Some can live in rivers on the surface, but many of them live in caves. And this is a pe'e pe'e maka'ole, or Kauai cave wolf spider. It lives in Hawaii. All of these animals have caves as their habitat. Animals who live in the same kind of habitat often share the same characteristics. Can you see anything these three animals have in common? That's right. They don't have any eyes. That's because they don't need to use their sense of sight as much as they need their other senses. A sense is how living creatures know things about the world around them. When you see or hear or taste, you're using your senses to learn about your environment. Try this. If you can, turn off the lights in your room or just close your eyes really tight. Don't worry, Squeaks. It's going to be just a second. I'll be right next to you the whole time. Okay? Ready? All right. Pay attention to your other senses. What can you hear? I can hear my breath and a little wind outside. And we can hear each other. I can also feel the temperature around me. And I can touch the table in front of me or feel my way around if I need to walk. What about you? What can you notice around you? Okay, let's put the lights back on. Yeah, that was fun. We can learn a lot about our surroundings even without sight. People and other animals that live in habitats where there is lots of light find it useful to be able to see. But we know that cave habitats are very dark, just like when we turned off the lights. Animals are adapted to the habitats where they live. This means they can have different body parts or other characteristics that make it easier to live in their environments. So animals that don't need to be able to see because they live in deep, dark caves also don't need eyes as much as they need their other senses. Even though they can't see, the animals still need other senses to help them find food, move around, and escape predators. What do you think they can use to sense things in their environment? Right, they might smell if another animal is nearby or the spider or the alm might use their legs to feel where they're going. <laughs> they are really cool squeaks. Maybe when we get to Sam's cave, he'll know an alm that we can visit. <laughs> we better finish getting ready. Thanks for learning about cave animals and senses with us and watching this episode of SciShow Kids. You can ask a grown-up to help send questions to us. They can get started at patreon.com slash scishowkids. And thank you all for joining us here at The Fort.